So the APC64 is out in the world and on the shelves now here at Store DJ, and I've been having a bit of a play around with it. And a feature that I'm surprised isn't getting more attention is the inbuilt MIDI to CV converter. If you take a look at the back of this thing, there's eight CV outputs for us to work with. And that makes this thing a brilliant tool to integrate Ableton Live with a modular system or any CV gear. It's really easy to set up. You just go into the global settings of the APC, scroll down the menu to the CV section where you can designate what MIDI channel you want it to listen to and what type of MIDI signal you want it to convert. So let's just scroll down to one I haven't used. CV6 is on channel five. We could make it set channel 12. And the type of signal we can change from pitch, gate, velocity, aftertouch, and MIDI CCs. Now MIDI CC is a huge one because it means you can utilize Ableton Live's automation lanes or clip automation, or if you've got Live Suite, you can utilize the inbuilt LFOs or any of those weird and wonderful Max for Live devices. So I brought along my modular system today and slapped together a quick beat in Ableton. And I've utilized some of these MIDI to CV conversion features to get these two talking to each other. So um, I reckon I'll just hit play and then I'll go through and break it down for you. So here it is all together and you can see the signal here being sent out through the oscilloscope and into the system here. And if I turn down all the modular parts, this is what we're left with. So this is all being generated by Ableton. But then if I go and stop some of these drum tracks, Then turn these up. So this is all the modular system. And we can bring in kind of like this halftime bit as well. And of course, because it's an Ableton controller, we can just go select our track. And now we can modulate parameters of the Ableton instruments as well. So filter cutoff of this synth. Yeah, you get the idea. So to break down how this is running in Ableton, if we have a look here, I've got four tracks set up with four clips, each of them with automation. And uh, this one is being sent to the wave folder. That's for the baseline, obviously. This one here is being sent to the low pass filter that that bass is going through. and turn those ones off. <laughs> turn that down. And this guy here is going to a stereo filter of the chord. So it's just a droning chord. It's just modulating a stereo low pass filter. off and the last one is just a little noise sweep thing. So just to run you through quickly how to set this up on the Ableton side of things, if you have a look at my four tracks here, um, they are all being sent to channel 11 and APC 64 port two. 
big emphasis on port two. That maybe this is just a PC thing. I don't know, PCs are kind of weird. Maybe it's not a MacBook thing, but this tripped me up for a while. It doesn't work if you just select the standard APC 64 output. Um, it has to be port two. I couldn't find anything about that in the manual. So I thought it was definitely worth mentioning. But so if we come down here to the actual envelopes, you can see I've got this envelope set to MIDI control. And then I have this one set to MIDI CC 16. And I'm pretty sure this one is 17, 18, 19. Then it's just a matter of jumping over here, going into our global settings. And you can see that CV1 source is CC 16 and the channel is 11. So that wraps this up for today. Thanks for tuning in. This is the most seamless integration of live and the world of CV that I've come across yet. Like there's lots of other solutions for MIDI to CV conversion out there, but having that conversion happen in a device that has a screen and a really, really easy menu system and is simultaneously an Ableton controller it's really an ideal solution in my mind, you know? So if you've been waiting for a magical device to merge these two worlds, I would highly recommend you check this thing out. These are of course available at any of our stores around Australia or via the website at storedj.com.au. My name is Mike, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button for us and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.